Hey everybody and welcome to Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric. Up on the bar for today is a single malt scotch, Altmore, 12 years old. As always here on the channel, I'm going to give you a nose taste finish review of this whiskey, tell you a bit about the value, give you my final thoughts and a final score, and leave you with a malt musing. But first, a bit about Altmore and the uh, 12 years old single malt scotch. So, Altmore Distillery is a Speyside distillery uh, currently under the ownership of the Dewar's Company. And so this 12-year-old uh, comes in a package looking like this with a lot of writing on it. So here's what it's got to say. A secluded site once known for smugglers and illicit stills, the foggy moss conceals our water source and filters it through gorse and heather, purifying it to the profits of Altmore's refined character. Uh, the rarest Bayside Classics has been distilled in handmade copper pout still since 1897, yet for over a century it holds a solid, uh, it's only sold in limited editions aimed at collectors. I don't think that's true anymore. Uh, sometimes a sly taste of Altmore could be found in a few local bars, but only if you knew to ask for a nip of the Bucky Road, which is the road the distillery is located on. So uh, what else does it have to say here? Often veiled in obscuring mist from the foggy moss and distillery, once long shrouded in mystery. Yet its whiskey's exceptional smoothness reveals why industry insiders have called uh, accorded it a rare top class status and why the dram of locals and Bucky fishermen has been a secret savored for over 100 winters. So quite a lot to say here. Uh, Alexander Edward is the founder. Comes in a tube like this. This is what the bottle looks like. Really nice kind of presentation. I'll tell you a little bit of what the bottle says here. This whiskey is bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. It is non-chill filtered in natural color as it says so on the tube. Here on the back also mentions that as well. Uh, a lot of the similar stuff that we saw on the tube in terms of its uh, history and advertising. So this is what we're looking at. Embossed on the top since 1897 Altmore a nip of the Bucky Road, written here on the bottom. All right, that's the rundown on the Altmore. Let's get this space cider in the glass. All right. That natural color. Take a look here. Nice, light gold, kind of almost straw hue to it. Really nice looking. Okay, but we all know it's taste that counts, so let's see what we're working with here. Right away in the nose. Apple. It's almost like tart, kind of like green apple. It's a little bit of spice in the back, a little bit of honey. Barley, kind of cereal barley notes coming up. Mm. It's very light, subtle, but refined on the nose. Maybe even a bit of, almost like a hint of like a tropical fruit, kind of creaminess, maybe banana. Hmm. All in all, quite nice on the nose. Seems like a nice summer sipper or a dessert whiskey for that matter. Let's give it a taste, cheers. Very bright, medium body. When it hits immediately, sweet, slight sour, little bit of spice. Vanilla is a heavy note here. I think this has probably been aged in bourbon. Casks. There's a bit of a pepper note to it. A little bit of a zest, almost like slight, like a lemon, creamy lemon and a little bit of a tropical kind of lemon bite to it. Honey. Goes into a medium, medium finish. Slightly drying, you get more of that apple again. A bit more of that honey, a little bit of a grassy note. A little pepper bite. It's almost 
slightly peaty like a Highland Park in the sense of that kind of heather peat. It's like a sweet peat. There's no indication that there's peat in this, but that heatheriness, as it mentioned, it's showing up a little bit. A little floral, too. Lavender. Quite nice. Let's put a little bit of water on this. 46% ABV. About a half teaspoon here. Ooh. The water really opens this up a bit more. That kind of a more of a dense, almost honey toffee note now. Vanilla as well. It's like caramel. And there it is again, that kind of zesty, that zesty, um, most citrus, slight tropical note, and the banana, big time again. Mm. All right, one more taste, cilantro. Mm. It's a bit louder now on the arrival with water, creamier. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. French vanilla, maybe? Dark chocolates there, which is giving it a nice kind of drying note as it's going into the finish, where again, you get a bit of that little apple, banana, very, very slight hint of lemon, a little bit of pepper, honey. Mm, cocoa, that dark chocolate cocoa is just wrapped around this as it heads into a medium to medium long finish now. Hmm. This is quite good. Almost 12 years old. Not uh, a difficult whiskey to find, but also not the most easily accessible uh, here in the United States. I think you'll find this if you go to a decent whiskey shop. And if you do, this is going to run you in about that $65 range. So this is a bit pricier than you see a lot of 12 years old whiskeys. Um, and so I think given what we're working with here, this is kind of in that moderate to slightly not great value uh, compared to some other things I think you can get at the price point. But uh, this is definitely a quality whiskey for sure. So final thoughts, Altmore 12 of the Foggy Moss. Uh, props to their presentation at 46% unchilled, filtered, and natural color. Um, that's always great to see, especially on 12 years old, where you see a lot of distilleries kind of put out things with lower ABV or are adding color or filtering their whiskey. Um, I think it shows it's got a really nice mouthfeel. Um, this is more of a, again, a light sipper, something that would be good during warm weather. Also really nice kind of dessert with those heavy vanilla notes that slight caramel, even slight creme brulee. Um, I quite enjoy this. I think for the price, um, you know, there are a lot of 12 year old single malts that kind of have similar profile like this uh, out on the market that you may want to try first. But make your way over to Altmore. Um, this is one that won't disappoint you, uh, especially if that's what you're looking for in terms of kind of a nice dessert, relaxed sipper something light on the palate. Um, I'm going to give this a 3.25 out of 5, which means I definitely recommend you try this, get yourself a bottle uh, if you do find it at a good price. There you have it, y'all. So that is my review of the Altmore 12 years old. Uh, do hit subscribe if you've yet to. That will make sure you don't miss my whiskey reviews, which come out every Friday. I also do a Tuesday happy hour. Would love to see you there. And with that, I'm going to send you to your malt musing, uh, and we will catch you next time here on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Slant, y'all.